Hi, Virgo. Welcome to Virgo Speaks Tarot. I'm Shawnee. Welcome to the channel. Hello, if you are new, welcome back. If you are returning, Virgo, I'm super excited to do your reading. I probably will do a part two to this reading or just a longer reading for my Virgos to enjoy longer readings. But this is just going to be a quick reading to tap into your energy, Virgo. Thank you guys so much for all the likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for everyone who has donated and mer and booked um, merchandise from my store. I love you. Thank you so much, Virgo. Everyone who's comment in the comments down below, thank you. And everyone who hit the like button, go ahead and do that now. Thank you so much for everyone. I appreciate all of your love. Virgo, we're going to get your daily message right now. All right. So what is your daily message for today, Tuesday, November 5th? You could be dealing with the Libra today, or you could, uh, you could have a Libra in your chart. Be, care of, be careful of a wolf, and she a wolf in sheep's clothing, okay, that's around you, okay? It could be a Libra. May not be. But there is clarity that you seek. Clarity is coming. But you must seek and ask for clarity. I feel like there's some sort of change that's happening here. I feel like it's change out of your control. So ask for guidance and clarity at this time. Do the best you can. No one can do more than that. Okay. Help is on the way. Uh, Virgo, some sort of assistance is coming. All right, but there is someone around you that refuses to change this wolf in sheep's clothing again. Um, I, my eyes are darting to this Libra. If there's a Libra you're working with or dealing with, be very careful. I do see a wolf in sheep's clothing. Um, you could be building together with someone new. This could be someone you just met. But I do see that there is change coming, okay, Virgo? Continue to manifest clarity and change. Help is on the way. Luck is on your side. A blessing is being delivered this week. Expect, expect it this week within seven days. Yeah, you could be blessed with a new home. You could be thinking about moving. Um, there's an opportunity to move. We have romance here. There could be someone that you're um, romantically involved with building together um you know this could be a new relationship um also this may not be someone in wolf in sheep's clothing this is a general reading but just be careful of people around you that's trying to love bomb you that's trying to benefit from something out of you or something like that be careful because spirit is saying you're um very lucky and gifted you can afford to help or donate others or someone can use your love, all right? You could be helping someone out. We do have help is on the way. So just be very careful at this time. Um, stay prayed up and I feel you'll be fine. But a big secret, a big, I can barely say it. A big secret will be revealed. Clarity that you seek will come. So if you want to know, the answers will be revealed. A random act of kindness, a random act of kindness will help your situation so i feel like you're going to help someone and it's going to benefit you in the long run just know that the holy spirit protects you at all times virgo this is beautiful i love this energy there is definitely someone who could use your help or love at this time all right you might find yourself stronger than this person um, someone that you can be there for and support. I love that. A random act of kindness. All right. There is a gift that's coming that I feel like you don't see. People are going to think you're very lucky. Um, you may have gotten approved. Okay. You could be thinking about getting a new home. Something is going to happen very exciting this week regarding your home. For Virgo. What is the first card here, Virgo's energy? Yeah, 
You're going to come out of the energy of feeling like you have to hold on to every dollar. Or you may be in the spirits of ready to spend your savings. Um, this could be a large purchase. But this is no longer holding on to money. Um, I feel like you're letting go of that lack, that financial lack mindset. Or let's see what else is going on for Virgo, please. Yeah, there's something exciting, something new that's happening here. Yeah, that got your attention. I feel like you're into something um, that, yeah, this could be a new person. Um, yeah, someone new that's entering your, that's on your path, on your journey with you. This could be um, you finding a new home, excited about this new neighborhood, this new um, this new um, job, this new home, this new person. I feel like you're ready to spin. You're ready to take action. Yeah, this is mine. I feel like you're very determined and very competitive. This could be um, dating someone. You're ready to take it to the next level. This could be you finding a home that you've been like your dream home and you're ready to take action. Yeah, the king of pentacles lets me know. Yeah, you're ready to make that decision. The King of Pentacles and the Emperor. Wow. This is a strong reading for someone who's getting a new home. Yeah. Show me more for Virgo, please. When it comes to this Page of Wands. This is exciting times, Virgo. We have the Five of Cups here. I feel like there's something that... You used to mourn over, grieve over, very sad over. I feel like that this is like a part of you that you're leaving behind. For some of you, it's, it's you know, it was a challenge. It was a very, very, um, I feel like a big challenge. One of the biggest challenges you've ever faced was getting over this deep sadness, okay? Or grieving the loss of a loved one. And it's not that you're no longer, you know, missing them. It's just that you're not going to let them, you know, passing away affect you where you're not able to function, where you're not able to experience true happiness. Okay, so I feel like you're coming out of that. This was a big challenge for you. To, you know, realize that no one is perfect and that you still deserve true happiness. For Virgo, what is the message for Virgo, please? When it comes to challenges that Virgo may face, what is the message? All right. We have embraced uncertainty. This comes out. This message just in multiple decks. Yeah, embrace the uncertainty. And embrace the mystery. Embrace the uncertainty. Because this is what is the key to unlocking your new beginning. Going through life fearless and full of faith is the key. Higher power. This is beautiful. This is what you're stepping into. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have protection. You're very much protected, Virgo, during this time. So embrace the uncertainty, which I feel like you have done already. And you've stepped into your higher power. This is beautiful. Yeah. I love it. For Virgo. Holy Spirit, what is your message for Virgo? Holy Spirit, what is your message for Virgo, please? I love this energy, Virgo. Eight of Cups. This is you choosing the path that you know is going to make you happy. This is the path that of fulfillment so virgo i feel like you are whatever this is that's exciting that got your attention again this could be a new person 
This can be a new job, a new career, a new home, a new environment, a new city, a new state, whatever, a new project, whatever this is, you're ready to release. It's like you've been holding on to maybe just an, a routine, holding on to just the way of doing things. I feel like now, or maybe just saving up your money, I feel like now you're ready to spend. You're ready to take action. You're ready to embrace uncertainty. And that's what the Page of Wands is all about. It can be an immature energy, but yet the energy of feeling ignited and inspired and passionate about something is strong enough for you to take action on. Yeah. And I feel like this is spiritually something that you're being guided towards with the number eight. Yeah. All right. So, wow. This could be a new love or the perfect dream job. Virgo. What is the near outcome for Virgo in this energy? The Seven of Cups. So it's like this is all about... The Seven of Cups sometimes can be confusion, not really sure what you want to manifest into reality. Sometimes you could be overwhelmed by what you really want. So Virgo, I feel like at some point you may have been confused, but I feel like in the end you're going to make the decision on what it is you want to, that you're truly passionate about. I feel like there's some sort of dream that's going to come true, some sort of wish that's going to be granted for you to be able to take action. Some money may have come through where now you're able to take action, where you're able to move, travel, whatever the case may be. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Virgo. Yeah, I feel like there's a dream. Yeah, we have the Six of Cups. There's that gift. So there may be a gift that's coming, something that you've always wanted with the Seven of Cups. The Six of Cups can represent pleasure. It can represent childlike innocence, something you've always dreamed of, something you've always wanted to do, a place you've always wanted to go. There it is. So that's what's happening here. Yeah, that quote, do the best you can. No one can do more than that. I love that. So there is luck here. We do have an approval. So Virgo, I feel like there may be some sort of gift. This could be blessed with a new home. Whatever it is, you're being blessed. I feel like someone may even want to help you or donate. It says you can afford to help or donate others. All right. So Virgo, be in the energy of ready to receive and embrace this change. Something new and exciting is coming through today. If it doesn't happen today, be open to it. Something new and exciting is coming. And it's going to be big and strong enough of an, uh, of an interest for you to take action. All right, so be prepared, guys. The emperor has been revealed. All right, so um, this could be someone, a new partner. Mm-hmm, this can be someone new. A blessing is being delivered this week. All right, guys, this could be a soulmate, the Six of Cups. So just have strength at this time. Don't give up. And stay connected spiritually because there is a gift that's coming that I feel that you're going to be so happy about. It's going to be like you don't have to worry about money anymore. All right. Wow. All right, Virgo. I'm going to go ahead and leave this reading here. I probably are going to go ahead and do a part two to make a longer reading. But guys, this is what I'm picking up so far. Virgo, you're not going to be in the energy of having to save money anymore and hold on to every dollar. You're coming out of that energy. And it has something to do, whatever this 
this new, new and exciting thing is. It could be this new Libra. But just be careful of people trying to take advantage of you. All right. Let me know in the comments down below if you're dating someone new. Let me know if you know a Libra that you're, you know, either friends with or romantic with. Let me know if you know who this wolf in sheep's clothing is. Don't be afraid to love and be open for new relationships, but just keep your discernment on point for people who are trying to deceive you. All right, Virgo. Until the next time, stay blessed, you guys. Bye, Virgo.